So I'll fill you in quickly what's going on. I'm here at a uh, value village, just the grand opening of the one in Pickering. I did a Craigslist deal, which I'll describe to you guys a little bit later. But uh, now I'm checking out, there's some random good finds, so you never know. Sometimes Blu-rays are cheap, you'll find a rare video game, like we found a Rock Band 2 at uh, Value Village just the other day. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to take a look around, and I'm already here meeting a guy, so I might as well uh, give it a chance and look in and see if there are any finds. But since I'm already here in Pickering, I'm going to try to see if there are any uh, pawn shops or video game stores open in the area. Maybe I'll get lucky and find uh, another good deal. We got Jay here. We're at Crittenden Village Restaurant. Hook us up with all this amazing food. Guys, guys, definitely check it out. It's one of my favorite Korean places in town. But um, I'm still waiting for everyone else to get their food. So we're just going to eat our appetizers. You guys excited? On their phone, excitement. Ties and mellow soup. Harder is tying your hair. Because she's ready to dig in. And we're going to enjoy it. They have vegan and vegetarian, yeah, vegan and vegetarian yeah. options here. And um, yeah, we're going to dig into the appetizers and then we'll get into it. Just getting a quick look at our food. I got a spicy pork stone bowl. Mel got two sushi rolls. One, um, what's this? Smoked salmon dynamite and yes. Korean Not village Korean roll. Village roll. Yes. Yep. Soy wrap, not the seaweed oh, wrap. Nice. Alright, Jay, Jay can explain. Cheers, yeah. <laughs> I want to show you. See, see yeah. you focus on the sushi. Look how little rice there is overall. Yeah. And, and look how you're big it is. Fill, you're going to get full on the good stuff. Beautiful. This is like part advertisement. Go, Jay. Cheers, go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, good luck. Finish all the soup. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> We're open until 11 p.m. We are home. I had an amazing meal with uh, my brother's sister and how to not at Korean Village Restaurant, as you know. Um, the person you saw was Jay. He is the son of the owner that is there, so technically he is an owner of the place. Treats us really well, always have a great time, and he threw in a lot of free stuff for me, and uh, really appreciate that. His motto was that um, if we're not full to the point that we're suffocating, then it wasn't good enough, so I am pleasantly stuffed and he wanted to show his support and uh, he gave me a gift card for the next time I eat there. I really appreciate it and I'm excited to eat there again because it was a great time. Really loved it. And they had a vegan dish actually. Um, the japchae or um, glass noodles is no meat, no dairy. So I'm hoping that Natalie could enjoy it. Don't worry, that's not my thumb. That's not my long nail. This is mine. So, shout out to him, thanks again, and I hope to see you soon, and I hope to come eat there. Yeah, I know. So, now we're home, and I forgot to tell you guys that I went to Pickering to pick up the uh, key tarp for Xbox 360, because the one I have is for PS3, and it can't use it during, I can't use it on the Xbox. Thank you, man, thank you. Oh, yeah. So, here it is, it looks the same as the other one. But yeah, 20 bucks, picked it up in Pickering. There was a grand opening of Value Village and that guy wanted to check it out. So we decided to have that as our meeting spot. Checked it out, they had some stuff. They had like Guitar Hero guitars, but again, no dongle. Always a struggle to find the dongle. But what is a dongle for the why doesn't, who don't know? Why doesn't anyone know what a dongle is? It's, well, a, it's not a common word. Do you guys know English? It's a wireless adapter. Even Everett and and Ben and Edmi are like, a what? A dangle? A dongle? What's that? Dongle. Dongle. You know when something hangs? Like it, dangle? Yeah. A dongle. Stop it. I'm reaching you. Stop it. Yeah. So, yeah. Looking, we're going to be playing some rock band after Natalie stops bothering me. And um, hopefully the entire family joins. We're all set up. Unfortunately, the drums that we got yesterday are the Rock Band 1 drums. So they're not um, padded, so <clears throat> or padded like the Rock Band 2 drums, so they make a little bit more noise. But I like it, it's a lot more fun. So we will play for a little bit, play all of the 150 songs, and we will catch you guys tomorrow. Hey, careful. Rock Band, and look what I have on my Rock Band, courtesy of the customs. They already got me thinking, got me stressed out. Alright, let's do it. Here we go. Hey, everybody, I didn't know I had a motorcycle. Look how sick it looks. Nice Yamaha R6. Perfect, I can't wait to ride it. Although, if I were to actually ride a motorcycle, I feel like I would be lopsided. 
after the surgery because you know I would be missing a leg and can't put weight on. Uh, it's actually my neighbor's motorcycle, my brother's car is parked here, so I think I can probably park it there. But you know, it doesn't bother me, I don't know what my dad's like. We are going out for breakfast, gonna go for some sunset grill. Look how shiny it is. It is very nice. No scratch. I won't touch it. So yeah, we're gonna head out to get some breakfast. So guys, we're here at Sunset Grill and uh, this is pretty much our usual order nowadays. Um, I switch between a normal breakfast like bacon, sausage and eggs or omelette. So this, I got a meat lover's omelette, all the good meats in there. My toast to go with it. Maybe. I got some blueberry pancakes and uh, I always get a side of home fries. Because it doesn't come with it. <laughs> it doesn't come with anything, so I like to get a side pole price and we share it anyway, so. That's okay. Let's eat. Okay. Um, there's been a bit of a gap of content, but we are here at the hospital. I am doing my pre op, so this is the pre operative uh, appointment where they ask me a couple of questions. I'm probably going to meet with the anesthesiologist. Um, but look at my awesome little bed here, not bad. Not five star, but you know, at least there's some comfort here. Apparently it's going to be a long appointment, according to my buddy Ben, who has a surgery the same day, um, and had his video up about a week ago. I'm hoping it's not that long. I'm hoping it's in and out, nice and quick, save on parking, save time. Perfect. So, um, we might pass by and see games later, I'm going to trade some games, maybe Carl will be there. I'll say sup, one five one, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be over there. I'll be hitting all the spots that you didn't even know was there. What's up everybody? I'm just breaking it down for you, driving home. We just came from our pre-op appointment. Nothing really happened. They just confirmed all the questions that they already asked us in the form. Then you make me drive all the way down there, have to make like pay parking, go downtown. Our parking was a whole situation. Pedestrians have been a whole situation. Oh, every, everything has been a situation. Any any interaction has been a situation. Um, while we were driving, this pedestrian was jaywalking, and when I like when I noticed and honked her, she was surprised. Why are you surprised? Why are you jaywalking? Yeah, it's like we had a green light, so we started oh, going, and this girl literally walked like she was in the middle of the street. She was in like the completely of the in right the middle. Beside you. She, yeah, she was right beside my window, like giving us a look, like excuse you, yeah, don't she, jaywalk. I, I know, don't <clears> jaywalk and put yourself in danger, and you know you'll be fine. But like, it's not even that it just turned green. It was green the whole time. Yeah, and it wasn't even like it was. It was like, oh, you know, yellow or something, you know, it was full green. And it wasn't even like the sign was turning red. It still said cross for the people who was going our way. And then um, as we were parking in Stockyards, this little plaza near our place, this girl was giving me a look because I was parking in the handicap spot. Like, hello, there is a permit there. Do you not see that? I don't know what else will tell you whether or not I can park here because that says I can, and the government says I can. You know, do I have to show you my crutch and my soon to be cut off leg, I don't know. Yeah, like, it just really bugged me because she was like shaking her head and looking at you. And it's like, who are you to judge like who deserves to get a handicap? pass and who doesn't like yeah, you don't no. just by looking at you you don't know your diagnosis you don't know that you're gonna be have a amputated leg in two days like oh she, that really bugged me I really wanted to say something to that I woman want, I wanted to open my window and say hi yeah Paul you wanna cut off your leg too how about no, let's try it but you know no need for unnecessary confrontation right now I don't need to waste my energy on fools like that Oh, and even when I was standing at the side um, of Spadina, where you're actually allowed to at this time, some girl was like honking the hell at me. Like, I see the sign, I'm allowed to stop here, so you know, your problem is getting around me. I can park on this street if I wanted to, that's your problem, it's not a two-lane street. 
you just wanted to pass people, but you couldn't, so your fault. Well, I'm right. Deal with it, lady. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just been so, like, I don't know, stupid today. Like, uh, just impatient and um, judgmental, I guess. Yeah. So I picked up a smoothie at Second Cup because I was trying to feel faint. <laughs> I needed some sugars, I feel like, in my body. And it's good because it doesn't have yogurt, so it is vegan. Yeah, Second Cup doesn't put yogurt in their smoothies, so. And it tastes just as good, if not better. Highly than other recommend. Places. Like, I would take this over any other like coffee shop smoothie, like Tim Hortons, or mm -hmm. like, this is better than Starbucks. Like, and it and it's vegan. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm not gonna go and turn vegan now, but you know, it's a better choice. Than I'm any trying, other. people. I'm trying. Nope. <laughs> Meanwhile. I just told you I wanted to go for a 14 ounce steak tonight. I know. <laughs> Good luck, Natalie. Sorry, I'm gonna use this here. Are okay. you still gonna record me blowing my nose? <laughs> I guess so. Back at my, well, not my favorite, but one of my favorite restaurants, Milestones. Yes, I know. We're gonna go on and on about this, but some people don't like it. I like it. I love their slow roasted primer. It's a nice 14 ounce steak. Look at that. Look at that beauty. With the onions. Oh, it's gonna be so great when I dig into this. Got my mashed potatoes. Natalie, take care. Well, of his one. food also comes with uh, vegetables, but they remind him of the vegetables from the hospital, so he doesn't eat them. And um, I got a veggie burger with uh, fries. I also had a salad to start, but I didn't film it. Okay, bye, I need to eat. Hey guys, we're back at home. I'm just relaxing and working on this video, chilling in the air conditioning. Uh, just two more days until my surgery, so I'm trying to enjoy my time um, before I'm just a bit more caged up than I already was. But I just want to do quick shout outs to some donations that have gone out we are way past what we expected um andrew huang thank you very much man that's uh quite a generous donation and um i really, really appreciate it M. le pian very interesting name thank you as well goes a long way and patrick luciani thank you very much hope to meet all you guys soon i have something planned but uh, it, it may be a little bit down the road. I was hoping to do it before the surgery, but um, they wanted to do it nice and quick, so we don't have that much time, unfortunately. But we still have more time in the future, so not too bad, not much to worry about. Uh, thank you guys for the continuous donations and shares. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. Tomorrow I'll have some things planned. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. But you guys will join me along for what I choose to go uh, and be up about. So I will catch you guys tomorrow and thanks for tuning in again. Appreciate a recording vlog. So we're at Costco right now amidst our deal hunting and everyone got pretty much the same thing. Ben got chicken strips, he's killing it. And we got poutine and did he get his extra fries or not? All Just the poutine? Oh my god. They got two hot dogs too and it comes with a drink each. It's really it's cheap, man. Do you get two two fries or no? No. I'll probably get, that. No? Probably get one to go later. Alright, sick. Sick shit, man. Sick stuff. So yeah, you know, Costco stuff, six bucks is all I got. It's pretty pretty killer, two drinks. Not gonna use it all, but whatever. Free, right? Free dog. Okay, so we're gonna chill.